Okay, um, this is 3M Clear Skin iPhone uh, phone cover. Both are made by 3M. And basically, what we need is some kind of card to get the water out. Um, and this kind of switch will be perfect. And also, I'm going to be using water 75% and 25% um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol which you can get from anywhere and I mixed it basically uh, 1 to 5 and the best thing for you to clean will be t-shirt it's the best I just got this iPhone 3GS uh, today so before I start using it I'm gonna be covering it so just clean it make sure there's no dust Basically, what you do, what I would do first is spray water in your fingers first, which you will be peeling. Just like that. And have it right on your hands with the sticky part up. And do not spray the phone. Um, this liquid on the the cover itself will be just good enough and what I usually do is line up the top and line up the earpiece and if you line those two sides the bottom and the sides will be lined up automatically so just like that Oop, it's a little bit crooked. The The reason I use alcohol is because if you use soap, which is good for beginners, um, it's going to take a while for it to stick. Um, for a little bit advanced users, you can use alcohol because it will stick so much faster. But the thing is, um, you only have a few chances before you have to peel it and respray. So you lined up pretty, pretty good it's pretty good and what I usually do I just spray a little tiny bit in the middle don't aim for the holes and spread her about apart a little bit and we use a squeegee and start pushing it outward just like that uh, if you don't have the squeegee you can use some kind of hard card with t-shirt wrapped around it that'll prevent it from scratching and even if you can't get all the water out it's okay because it'll eventually dry and the bubbles will come up or it'll dissipate and you can use your finger to get the corners and there's a little tiny water pocket but it will be gone I've done that plenty of times it'll be gone in about two days but it just installs just like that it's pretty clean that's it for the front wipe off the uh, back part the back part is going to take a little bit get the corners good because that's where you're going to have the most trouble with so do the same thing spray your finger and then Here's one with the camera hole right there. It's, it's going to have four legs on each corner. When you're peeling it off of the backing tape, make sure you don't rip out or st stretch each leg. So, got to be very careful. There you go. And then spray the spray the unit again and what I do usually on this is line up the camera hole and line up the top corner and this top two corners and after that just look at the sides make sure it's not crooked okay that looks pretty good same thing for the front as a front spray a little bit Use a card or 
any kind of credit card or bank card with with a bank card I would put t-shirt around it because it might stretch or I mean scratch not stretch and make sure you work the top the flat surface first get all the water out and then go on to the corners I would start with the top and the corner the sides it's not going to take right away you have to evaporate all the moisture before before um, it's actually start to stick and while you're carding it it'll tack much faster so what you do is after the flat surface is all tacked pretty much it's, it's stuck you're not going to be able to move any water right now what I usually do is I usually wait about half an hour uh, maybe sometimes longer depending on uh, the condition of the weather or the solution mixture uh, solution mixture ratio it might be sometimes sticky sometimes not but I, what I do is as you can see I'm using the t-shirt and taking the water out and drying it as as I go as you can see it's tacking pretty good on this one that means uh, my mixture of alcohol had more water than alcohol because alcohol is the one that makes it slippery not the water so more alcohol you add that means it's going to be more slippery so what I do is I try to take everything but those four flaps or I call them legs as you can see it's tacking pretty good so just like that as you see as you can see I'm, uh, I hope you can see it maybe I'm just doing it because I can't see the camera screen and when it comes to the legs I'm going to try to tack it but I know it's not going to tack that well so I'm just going to line it up just like that because this is where you're going to have the most problem but just patient be patient because it will stick you just have to give it give it some time to dry it dry up a little bit let the water evaporate but it's what I usually do is I usually place them where I want it and it's going to lift up a little bit here and there in the corners but when it's when it's finally fully dried you can just tap on it you can just tap on it and it'll stick just like that oh it's sticking this one stuck pretty good same thing right there try to work your way up to the tip just like that hmm that's pretty good same thing right here just like that and while you're tacking make sure you're lining it up too you don't want it to stretch out of out of a line and have it all crooked just like that and touch up the um, edges just like that and if your um, t-shirt gets too wet make sure you change it to different locations so it'll dry the dry the film faster that way and looks pretty good there are a few spots here and there lifting up but right now 99% there's no dirt few water pockets here and there which will dissipate in about you know 24 hours I don't know if you can see it but from to me up for up front looks really good <laughs> 